Hello Internet, and thank you for watching this Tiki Express tutorial. I'm Bernard Svez, Tiki Specialist, and in this video I'll talk about one of the main features in Tiki, the trackers. I'll explain what is the trackers feature, I'll show you how to enable the trackers, how to create your first tracker, and how to create a page to collect information for a tracker. I'll describe quickly, quickly the basic tracker field types, how to enable the tracker advanced field types, I'll demonstrate the mathematical calculation fields. We'll do a quick review of the tracker's global options as well as a review of the tracker property, another set of options for each tracker. And finally, we'll use a plugin list to display a catalog from a tracker in a wiki page. To define trackers has never been an easy task. And this is because trackers is not like forum or blog, a ready-to-use feature where you set only parameters and options. Tracker is more to compare with Microsoft Access or Apple Pharmacare Pro. Simple as I can define it, trackers is a toolbox and a set of components built to directly interact with value to and from a database that can be used as a standalone or be integrated in conjunction with other Tiki features like the wiki page. Yeah, it may sound like an hermetic definition and maybe it is, but let's go on and later I'll show you examples so you can really understand what is possible to do with trackers. Historically, it has always been a Tiki advantage to combine the best of two worlds, wiki and database. Using trackers and wiki pages made Tiki able to deliver a structured wiki. Evolving with the internet that we know today, this simple core idea has extended, of course. Many, many improvements and techn technological breakthrough made by the Tiki developers turned trackers embedded within Tiki into a web application builder. Trackers is powerful and it's unlimited. And to better understand it, I will show you how it works. By the way, I received a lot of messages and questions about a previous Tiki Express tutorial and the way I integrated a bootstrap design website into Tiki. I was asked to continue doing so, so people have better ideas on how they can design their own Tiki. But I really feel it's better to show how to use and set up Tiki using the default install. It will be very confusing for beginners if I do it on a customer's Tiki. So sorry for the ticker that asked that, but uh, I will use the standard default install. You know what? I will change the things a bit and I will demonstrate the last chapter of this tutorial using a customer ticky so we keep everybody happy here. So I log as admin, go to the setting menu that opens the control panels page, set my default to advanced for the preference filters, Click on the Features panel and activate the Trackers feature. If you felt that I did that a little bit too quickly for you, I suggest to view the tutorial I did about administration tips in Tiki, where setting a feature is explained in detail. The Tracker menu is now available and first thing first, let's create our first tracker. To create our first tracker, we have to go to the main page of the trackers accessible under the list tracker menu item. We click on the create button and it opens a model and first I will set a name for my new tracker. I had the description to help you there with what they are supposed to do and I check the description is wiki parsed checkbox so I can add some wiki markup. That's enough for this demonstration and I'll quick review the other option with you later on. Back to my trackers page, I see the tracker I just created. It is empty for now, and even blank, meaning no fields have been defined yet. To do so, you can click on the Actions menu under the branch, as well as many other possible actions, or you can click on the tracker name. As I was saying, nothing to see yet. I click on the Fields button to create my first field. I click on Add Field, and it opens a hat field model. I set the name of my field and I leave the default text field type. My first field is set, let's add more with different field types. 
I set a text error and as I said it, I would like to show you that for each field type you have specific options. For the text error, I set the field to display a toolbar above it. I add a date field to store birthday. I don't need the time, so just the date will be good. I set an email field. A radio buttons field. A country field. As you can see, by default, there are already enough type fields to create a complex tracker. OK, done. Let's populate the first item. Just fantastic. In less than a minute, we create what would have taken an hour to be built by a programmer and it's not less important, it is embedded in a Tiki, a web publishing framework, meaning it's ready to be used. A few set of permissions and this can be already a tool to be used for your company or your organization. We have a tracker now ready to store information. So let's quickly create a form on a wiki page to populate this tracker. I create a wiki page, my contact form. I had a title using heading 3. I go to the plugin help available after clicking on the question mark button of the toolbar. Filter the plugin list with the word tracker. And from the long list of available plugins for tracker, I select Tracker. <laughs> and you can see by the description that is just what you need now. I fill the Tracker ID field by selecting the right tracker in use. I select the fields I want the user to fill. I let everything else as it is by default. But again, a lot of options and possibilities for you to match exactly your needs. Just at the bottom, I will add some text to confirm the informations were saved. Or better, a remark box plugin so it looks also nice. Now, back on the page, let's pretend I am a user and I have to fill this form. Save. And we are all good. Let's check in the tracker now. And I can see that my item was saved properly. Let's review some of the other field types. To do so, and to show you another way to access the field of my tracker, I go back to the trackers page. On the same line of my tracker, on the far right, there is a wrench with an actions menu. I select fields, and back on the field page, I click on the add field and let's check together what is available by default. Checkbox, so you can set a set of several checkbox for multi-select options. Country selector, we saw it, nothing to explain. Date and time, that we just seen. Date and time using a date picker. Drop down, where you can set manually the options. Email, also a field we've seen. Files that interact with the file galleries to attach a document like an image to an item. 
Header is a static title using the HTML heading size. It can also be used to toggle, show or hide all the fields after it. Icon that gives an option to add an icon to, the, to an item. Item link that gives you the ability to cross information between two trackers, uh, kind like a foreign key in the database. Location to show a map and a marker for the location. Note that to use this field, you have to enable the map feature, else nothing will be displayed. Multi-select field to select several options in a field. Numeric field to store numbers, especially if you need them as numeric value for calculation. Page selector to select a wiki page. Radio buttons, this also we've used it and it's pretty obvious. Static text, like the header but without format or toggling. Text area, something that we've seen also. Text field, this one also we've seen. URL, to enter a URL and of course to use it as a URL. User selector, to link or relate an item to an existing or a future Tiki user. And wiki page, to enter content in a tracker that will be saved as a wiki page. Those fields are available by default, but there are many more and they'll give you an incredible number of tools to create your form, report or applications. Let me show you how to activate them. As usual, setting, control panels and click on the tile trackers. Plenty of options, but let's keep on the field types for now. So I click on the last tab and it display a huge list, a lot of stuff here. You find a short description moving the mouse over the help tooltips. I let you discover them, but one. Quickly, to show you a little more of the possibility, let me enable the mathematical calculation field and go back to our tracker. You remember we had a birth date that the user is supposed to enter. But what if instead of displaying the date, we need to display the age of the user? In that case, a user can be someone registering to a services, I don't know, uh, medical, insurance, medication that requires someone using Tiki to have this information right away. So let's calculate the age of the contact entered in this tracker item automatically. We will use the birth date he entered. First, we take the actual date and subtract the user birth date to get the difference. Now, computers and programs are based on a calendar where everything started in 1971. So, to get the right difference, we divide the result by this year timestamp. We round the result to zero decimal, as we won't need any fraction for the number uh, that will represent the age. And finally, we add a string to make it nicer. Saving. Now, let's add a new item so the field is calculated. Ta-da! We could have also added some condition in case I add this field after some items have been already created, like age was not calculated yet. Please review and save it. Uh, or in case the birth date is not mandatory field, I can and can be empty, something like age can't be calculated without the birth date. It is not super easy, but it's far to be complicated and it is so powerful. You got plenty of command, the syntax is clear, and most of the time, what could fail is about error in your logic or your typo. Please refer to the Tiki documentation at doc.tiki.org calculations. There are plenty of global options for the trackers. Let's go back to the control panel of the trackers. Clicking on the general tab, you will see an impressive list of options and parameters. It's up to you to look at them and investigate or experiment with what you need. More options and parameters per tracker are available in the tracker sections. Features, mainly for the command feature, the other being kept for legacy purposes, but have been better integrated in the trackers. Display with sort and tracker information, 
It is common to use the status, so let's activate it. Section format to use templates uh, to display a tracker. I, I don't use that one and I really prefer using the plugin list and the unified index in conjunction with the trackers for maximum flexibility in design. But it's there, you can test it and check the, the documentation about it. Status, to decide the item status on creation or modification and that can initiate cascading actions. Notification, if someone needs to be notified when something is changed in the tracker or to publish an access from this tracker. And permission, that are a special set of permission for this tracker in Tiki. Um, it's for you to read, again, it's very straightforward. I save, and you can see now that there is a bullet statue for each of my item. It is very useful. Now that we know better about trackers, let's see how we use it to create an online catalog for a shop or anything else. I got a bootstrap website I created for this. As you can see, I have an area of feature products. Products that have an old price and a new price as a discount. Those items are coming from a tracker and are, in fact, tracker items. Let's see the tracker first. As we learn, I need to go to my trackers menu in the website. It is at the bottom of it. Trackers, products, and here I have a very simple tracker made with four fields. Name, picture, that is a file, and two currency field type. Let's edit an item. Instead of simple table, let's call this item la table. That is the French for the table. But with this new name, it looks really much more attractive and justify the price, of course. Back to my home, I can see the item was updated. Now, all this is done using a few components that are coming out of the box in Tiki. I'm getting a bit outside of this tutorial scope, but I really think it's worth to have a look at the plugin uh, and how it is set and also the templates I use for this. So, let's edit the page. First, a plugin list on the wiki page, and as you can already see, it doesn't require a lot of typing. Pagination, because I want only to display six items here. Some filters one to display the item for the specific tracker and one to display only items where the field old price is not empty. The syntax for the fields and format we want the value to be displayed and to integrate nicely this plugin output into my design I used a wiki page as a smarty template. Let's have a quick look just for you to have an idea. HTML syntax, classes, and the item with its object reference name below the code for the model. Again, this is not a lot of work for a great result that will simplify your life and make you or the organizer you are working for save a lot of money. That's it for today with this Excel video. Indeed, there are more to tell about trackers, tracker field types, tracker plugin, plugin list or smarty template. But you got the basic and I planned already more advanced tutorial for all the treasure you can find in Tiki related to trackers. I hope you've enjoyed this Tiki Express tutorial. To help me continuing those, I need your support. So click on the like icon below that video and share the video everywhere you think it should be. I don't have enough time to work, do the tutorials and care that every Tikiers have the opportunity to watch them. So please make it available where it's need to be. If you don't want to miss my next tutorial and want to be notified when I publish a new one, just click on the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and may the power of Tiki be with you.